Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining in our Mother's Day meditation. Today we are going to be um, uh, sitting in loving kindness, has said unconditional love, however your spiritual tradition or, um, you know, language connects to this concept for our mothers, for ourselves as mothers, and also to honor the divine feminine within. And so uh, these are qualities like interconnectedness, uh, nurturing, creativity, empathy, intuition. And these are not um, localized to females. These are qualities that we all manifest in different degrees, and we can nurture them in meditation practice and with our choices of thought and action as well. So uh, let's do it. Let's get busy. Let's begin by getting into the mindful body. Looking for our posture that is strong and straight and easy. So both manifesting flexibility and strength in the body. And that posture of strength and flexibility it's not just physical, it's emotional, it's spiritual, it is all connected. And as we sit in this strong and flexible posture, looking to manifest other opportunities of interconnectedness in our lives where we understand that the physical things we do are both emotional, spiritual. Work, eating, cleaning, talking with friends and family. Isn't that incredible? How just one moment of connecting to a posture opens up this entire beautiful aspect of our existence. And we don't need to be anywhere special we're quiet to make that happen. We just need to choose and have the intention. And just feeling grateful for how easy that can be. Isn't that wonderful? Yay! Love that. We don't have to suffer to get there. We don't have to work to get there. We're already there. We just need to open our eyes. It's like Peter Parker's uncle says too, once we recognize the truth of our interconnectedness emotionally, spiritually, physically, and also the web of interconnectedness we share with all life forms, that opens the door to great, great responsibility in our thoughts, in our actions, with our inner circle, our outer circle, strangers. We have great responsibility to be accountable and carry ourselves with integrity all the time. So sometimes we don't want that responsibility, right? Sometimes we mess up and we need to um, be compassionate with ourselves, forgive, course correct, try again. It is a wonderful responsibility because it helps us let go of all the little things that get in the way. Fear, shame, uh, worry, comparisons with others, a focus on the material successes. Once we understand and honor the interconnected web of our lives and the lives of others, we can move to a more full, whole way of living. Yay! Generally, I don't like to talk that much even through our introductory mindfulness, but if you can do this on your own, what great freedom there is in just sitting up straight and recognizing that you are strong and flexible and that you can carry that 
through all aspects of your life and our interactions with others, right? It's just such a tremendous gift. And therein lies the power of meditation to fill our bucket in a very short little spree. The longer we sit, the more, um, the easier this gets, the less we fight it. And just inhaling and exhaling deeply. Calling to mind um, our own mothers here, past, a complex relationship, a loving relationship. It is all welcome here. I'm just taking a moment to inhale and exhale with gratitude and awe for that timeless journey of humans over the eons. Giving birth, living, growing, declining, dying, and the cycle begins again. It's miraculous, humbling, sad, beautiful, unavoidable. And here we are. Just taking several deep breaths into the wonder of that cycle. Honoring our own mothers, focusing on the positive, pull up a positive memory or many positive loving memories. Letting go of memories that don't serve to hold us aligned with unconditional love. We get to choose, isn't that great? That is where our power lies. And in this moment, we are giving our thoughts, our energy, our heartfulness to those thoughts that align us with unconditional love. Noticing the feelings that accompany that alignment, gratitude, wonder, ease, Patience, acceptance, tolerance. And just sitting in that wonderful pinnacle of human cognition for a few moments. Enjoying how magnificent it is to align with unconditional love. Don't beat yourself up if this contrasts to your day-to-day -day thinking. That is the same for all of us. That's why we meditate. During this visualization, if you are a mother, honoring your contributions, often our ministry as mothers goes unrewarded, unacknowledged, lots of sacrifice. And letting, letting all of that go, any feelings of resentment, worry. Again, focusing on the gratitude. The miracle 
of children. It's in watching their journey that we really understand where we've been. It's so incredibly humbling. And as the last uh, focal point of today's practice, let's spend a few moments um, continuing to nurture those aspects of the divine feminine that are available to all of us, regardless of gender, when we choose to nourish them in our lives. Let's slow down our thinking for a little bit and uh, develop our intuition. listening to that inner voice. Our intuition is going to feel different than the voice of the inner ghoul that is judging and criticizing. So that's not the intuition we want to develop. Looking for a voice of love and ease and patience. of acceptance. And just acknowledging that our ability to observe extends far beyond what people say and show us on the surface. And so committing to talking less and listening more. noticing our feelings and not suppressing them. In today's practice, we've explored the um, divine feminine qualities of intuition and interconnectedness. But I encourage you to sit longer in this practice to, to notice and nurture our own ability for empathy and for creativity. Where can we be kinder and more helpful to others? Not for a reward or to prove anything but just because we become aware of how people are feeling. Often our work can be done in the invisible, in loving kindness, right? Sharing loving kindness in prayer. And where can we nurture our own creativity? It doesn't have to be knitting and sourdough and painting products, making products that make money. It's little things, the little things. How can we bring more gratitude, openness, ease, clarity to small actions in our life to inspire little things like making the bed or riding the elevator with a sense of joy and anticipation, excitement and expansiveness? looking for how we can bring creativity and the ease and sense of empowerment and delight that accompanies it into our day-to-day -day actions rather than making creative stuff that is successful.
Let's take a final few breaths together. And just committing to expanding this practice over the week. We've covered a lot of ideas today, a lot of anchors. Aim to sit with these over the week and have a wonderful Mother's Day. I look forward to seeing you next week.